Welcome to episode 255, Stephen Cohen, From Middle Class to King of Wall Street. This is an outline of episode 255. There are three reasons why we study Stephen Cohen. First, he's the most successful trader in Wall Street from 1992 to 2012. He was head and shoulder above everyone else in Wall Street, and he amassed a fortune of $11 billion. Second, he's the most scandalous trader of all time. He was involved in the largest insider trading and paid a record fine of $1.8 billion. Third, not surprisingly, he's the most secretive trader in our time because the SEC has been after him for more than 20 years. Let us meet Stephen Cohen. You know, our view at Point72 is that talent is really thin. And we probably only accept, or even, we, we winnow down the funnel down to maybe 2 to 4% of the actual candidates that we might be interested in. And frankly, I mean, uh, I'm blown away by the, um, the lack of talent. It's not, it's not easy to find great people. No. <laughs> That's why you get paid the big bucks. He grew up very middle class in Great Neck, Long Island, which was an affluent town. His family had, um, relatively speaking, less money than a lot of others around him. So I think from an early age, you know, he felt a sort of hunger to become rich. You know, he's, he was very good at playing poker. He started playing poker in high school. He went to Wharton, famous business school. and This is a picture of Stephen Cohen at fraternity in Wharton School, UPenn. He had a lot more hair then, and quite a handsome guy. An avid poker player, Cohen started trading with $7,000 that was supposed to be part of his tuition payment at the Wharton School. Ultimately, developing his own rapid-fire style of trading that won him praise at Gruntal, his first step into Wall Street. So, at age 22, fresh out of UPenn, he found his first job in Wall Street in a company called Gruntel. It's a small and chaotic firm with a long history. Stephen Cohen was the star trader there. He amassed a fortune of about $20 million. He was a big fish in a small pond. He built up an enormous personal fortune, almost entirely on the basis of his incredible skill for trading. So he, he had a really strong instinct for the stock market. He would sit down behind his screens and just sort of look at the way stocks were trading every day and was believed to have this very intuitive, incredible sense of how to sort of ride the waves in the market and make money. So how did he make his fortune? Steve Cohen was primarily a short-term trader. His style is called Rapid Fire. I will cover more Rapid Fire trading in coming episodes. Now, the first scandal, the 1985 insider trading. Ironically, the informer was Patricia Cohen, his ex-wife, whom he divorced in 1990. According to Patricia Cohen, the insider trading was about the acquisition of LCI by General Electric. Even Cohen was supposed to get insider information from Bruce Newberg, who was a trader at Drexel Burnham Lambert. In any case, Stephen Cohen got away. He was only barred for four weeks by the New York Stock Exchange. In 1992, Stephen Cohen started SAC Capital Advisor with $20 million of his own money. SAC stands for Stephen A. Cohen. The hedge fund did so well that it was able to charge some of the industry's richest fees. Other hedge funds were charging 2 and 20. SAC was charging 3 and 50. 2 and 20 means 2% capital under management and 20% of profit goes to the hedge fund. So SAC was charging his clients twice the industry average. SAC was the most successful hedge fund in Wall Street from 1992 to 2012 averaging that 25% return to investors. With the 3 and 50 fee structure, Steve his, had catapulted his net worth from $20 million to $11 billion in 20 years. In 2012, Stephen Cohen was king of Wall Street. Next, in 2013, the largest insider trading in the history of Wall Street. 
SEC came after Stephen Cohen and succeeded in breaking up SAC. The rise and fall of billionaire trader Stephen A. Cohen's hedge fund SAC Capital is operatic. But what exactly happened when the Justice Department put him in its crosshairs during the largest insider trading investigation in history? With her new What have I learned today? Three things. First, how Stephen Cohen grew from middle class to $20 million in 14 years. Second, how he grew from multimillionaires to King of Wall Street in 20 years. Third, he has a long history of scandal with insider trading, first exposed by his ex-wife Patricia Cohen in the 1990 divorce. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Stephen Cohen from downfall of SAC to Comeback Kid. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.